Through the Eyes of the Eagle by Georgia Perez. A young Indian boy named Rain That Dances lived in a small Indian village. The village was near the foot of a high mountain. The big city was not too far away. Rain That Dances was a happy little boy. He liked to play with his friends. He also liked to sing and dance with the men in the village. On this beautiful day with the sky so blue, Rain That Dances was fishing along a small stream. As he waited for the fish to bite, he saw a great bald eagle. The eagle was resting on an old tree stump, not far from where he sat. Rain That Dances had never seen a great bird like this so close. Now eagles always fly away when a person comes too close, but for some reason, this great bird just stayed where he was as Rain That Dances approached him. Rain That Dances thought, maybe the eagle was hurt and couldn't fly away. But as he got closer, he saw the bird was not hurt at all. Mr. Eagle, what is wrong with you? I'm just too tired and sad because of all the things I see as I fly around this great land. What do you mean? I look around here and it's just beautiful. See the sun is shining, there are beautiful white clouds in the sky. The river has plenty of fish for you to eat, even though the fish won't bite my fish hook. So there's nothing to be sad about. You're right, it still looks beautiful. The great bird paused as he thought about the stories the old wise eagle used to tell about the things he saw as he flew around. Things had changed. As I soar high above the clouds, I see the beauty of the world around me. I see the high peaks of the mountains. I see the valleys below where the waters flow in the rivers. I have seen Brother Sun greet each morning of a new day with sunlight. I have seen him say good night as Sister Moon comes to light up the dark sky. The old wise eagle told me stories about the things he saw with each new day. He saw the bear, the buffalo, and the deer, and he saw your people being very active. Those days were hard, but your people all worked together and shared everything. Hard work and being active was a way of life for everyone. The men worked hard to take care of everyone in the village. They had strong, healthy bodies. They used to hunt for buffalo and deer for this was food for the village. The women worked hard, taking care of their families. They planted seeds in Mother Earth to grow the foods that kept their families healthy and strong. The children helped with the chores, but they also played with each other. Now, as I fly around, I do not see the children playing and moving around like the old wise eagle used to see. Children are also eating food that are not so good for them. That makes me sad. What does that make you sad? I am sad because this makes people get sick. They are not as healthy as they can be. Many of your elders are now sick with a disease they call diabetes. And the young children will get it too, unless they make changes in their lives. Rain That Dances was quiet for a few minutes as he thought about the people in the village. He thought of the elders who could no longer see the beauty around them because their eyes could not see. He thought about the people who were sick. He also thought of the people who could no longer walk but used wheelchairs to get around. He had never thought of these things before but now knew the eagle was right. You do have reasons to be sad. Now I am sad too. What can I do to help my people be strong and healthy again? I had a dream last night about this very thing. At this, Rain That Dances was suddenly excited again. He jumped up with a big smile on his face. What can I tell them? There is much to tell. 
You can let your people know that there are things they can do now. They can be healthy and will not have to get diabetes. Going back to some of their traditions, such as the food their ancestors used to eat, becoming active once again, and passing those traditions on to their children are important. In my vision, your people hold the answers. They just have to think back. Now it's getting late and you need to get home. If you come back tomorrow, I will be here. I will tell you more of what your people can do to be healthy and strong again. Rain that dances left the eagle. He will come back the next day. He knew what the eagle was telling him was true. He had seen his people get sick with this disease. Now he has a chance to learn what his people can do to be healthy again. He also has a new friend, the great bald eagle. Rain that dances waved goodbye to the eagle. And as he walked away, he said, Tomorrow is a new day. I'll see you tomorrow, and I'll bring my best friend with me. To hear more of what I have to say, please join me, along with Rain That Dances, in Knees Lifted High. Mm -hmm.